Well, good Friday afternoon to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. I sure enough hope everybody's having a good Friday, and I hope y'all looking forward to the weekend. I know I am. What I'm going to say is it is another nice day. The temperature is rising in East Central Mississippi. It's not in the 80s no mo. We're in the high 90s now. <laughs> but what I'd like to make mention of, if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her in the sticks, I thank y'all for coming back. What I wanted to share with you and y'all today is I'm going to take part in a challenge. So give me a second. We finna go find some shade and we're going to do the dang thing. <laughs> All right, you and y'all, let's talk about the challenge. Miss Linda over at PG Nano Farm actually did the challenge and she left the challenge open to folks that want to take part in the challenge. It's a really good challenge and I was like, yeah, I got to get in on this one. The, the name of the challenge is, or am I the perfect subscriber? What it is, it is a series of 12 questions. Let's get into it. The first question is, do I subscribe to a channel right away or do I watch a few videos first? More than likely, um, if I see a channel that sparks my interest, I'm just going to go ahead and give a couple of their videos a look just to see what they're about and see if uh, what they do is in line with what I do, with what I do. Now, naturally, I'm drawn to channels that do a lot of cooking and gardening and, and, and some homesteading stuff. So I normally, I normally watch a few videos before I subscribe to the channel. The second question is, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway me from subscribing? No, not really. Uh, what I have noticed is there's a few channels that I watch, that I have watched uh, pretty frequently, and I wasn't even subscribed to that channel. I probably was subscribed at one time, but you know how YouTube does, they unscribe folks every now and then. So no, that, that doesn't sway me at all. Heck, it, it's just a reminder. Hey, if you, you, you like what you see, subscribe. So no, I don't see anything wrong with that. Third question is, how many channels do I have the bell turned on for? Uh, quite a few. Uh, there's quite a few channels that I watch and, and follow that I have been following for quite a long time. And I have, I have the bells turned on for that because I, I just like to keep up to date with uh, what folks uh, are doing. Uh, sometimes I just can't, I can't watch the videos right then and there, but I get around to it. So I have several, I couldn't put a number on it, but I have several channels that I have the, uh, the bell turned on for. Fourth question is, do I watch every video from my subscription list or just my favorites? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, I, I try to watch as many videos as I can because I follow a lot of channels. Um, yes, I do have quite a few favorite channels that, that when it, when it, whenever I see that they have something uploaded, uh, something new that they've uploaded, yeah, I'm right on it because I want to watch it. So that, that's, that's kind of a hard one. It's, uh, I'm going to say half and half. The fifth question is, how many channels do I never miss uh, an upload for, no matter how busy I am? Yeah, that's, that's going to be probably the same as uh, question number four. Um, there's, again, there's a bunch of channels that, that I, I follow and I, most of the time, if I'm at work during my lunch break, I'll catch up on videos and of course when I get home, I watch a lot of videos when I can, if I ain't cutting grass, but there's uh, several, several, several channels. Uh, there's a lot of them. Lord, I, I couldn't even put a number on that either. Question number six is, what kind of commenter am I? Well, I comment on pretty much every video that I watch. And I do that just to let uh, you and y'all know that I've watched a video and I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna comment. I'm gonna say something about you know, what I think about the video. You know, if it's a garden video, I'm gonna throw a that that garden's looking good. It's, it's a good thing for the, the content creator and it's just basically letting uh, the creator know, hey, I peeped out your, your, your video and I'm digging it. So I try to comment on every video that I watch. See, question number seven is, do I skip ads or do I watch them? Uh, nine, time, nine times out of 10, I will watch the ads. 
uh, except when you get those uh, five, four and five minute ads. No, I, I'll, I'll skip through those. But just the regular ads, yeah, I watch them. And I think there's like two ads now most of the time on uh, on YouTube now for the creators. Question number eight, do you speed up videos? Every now and then I will. What I have uh, found is sometimes, uh, especially if I'm at work or during my lunch break or something like that, and I'm watching a video, I may make it, and let's just say, just for shoots and giggles, it's a, a 10 minute video. And I'm, I'm, I'm probably at the five minute mark and I have, to, I have to get up and go do something. So most of the times I'll just pause it and go do what I have to do and come back to the video. And when I get back, yeah, sometimes I speed it up uh, just to, to see what they're doing in small increments. I have done that before, and the only downside to that is I've sped up, uh, I've sped up videos, and the section, the little section that I speed up, somebody might have mentioned uh, my channel, or they might have said something to me. Hey, Dan, this is check out these pepper plants, and I missed that. So. Yeah, I've done that before. I try not to do it, but nah, I'm not gonna lie. I have done it. See, question number nine. Do I ever click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? No, I can't say that I have. I'm just, uh, I don't have money like that to uh, look at some of the uh, affiliate stuff. What I have done is some channels have like Amazon pages where they show off the gear that they use. I don't know if that pertains to that, but I have clicked on, on those before just to see what, what kind of gear the channel's using or some of their garden equipment. So I don't know if that applies, but yeah, I, I have done it once or twice. Question number 10 is what's my preference when it comes to video length? What's, what's my sweet spot? Uh, I try to keep my videos around seven, eight minutes long, something like that. I actually have, uh, I, I think I have a few videos that have, especially when I first started, that 16, 17 minutes long. I try not to do that. I guess it's all about, you know, that, that's, that's on the creator. But it's just however long you want your video to be. If you have, you know, something that you want to put out there and it takes you 20 minutes to do it, well, so be it. So, but my, speed, my sweet spot's probably around seven to eight minutes as far as video length. Question number 11, do I thumbs up uh, most videos? Yes, I do. Uh, any, any channel that I'm subscribed to, I certainly will thumbs up the videos um, because that's what I do. It uh, helps the, the creator as far as the YouTube algorithms and uh, the, all the channels that I follow have uh, really good content. So yeah, they're gonna get the show enough, get the thumbs up from old Dan. Question number 12, do I ever thumbs down a video? No, not, not uh, can't say that I do. Because if I, if I have the intentions on uh, giving a video a thumbs down, probably not a channel that uh, I should be watching or I'm subscribed to. Uh, no, I, I, I do not give thumbs down on, thumb, give a thumbs down on videos. But I will say there are some folks out there that will come to your channel and give you a thumbs down. Don't know why or what would motivate somebody to do that. I guess it's just something that they enjoy doing. Don't know. Uh, I've had uh, quite a few people, you know, comment on, on some of my videos. Hey, damn, boy, you sure have been getting a lot of thumbs down here lately. I don't know. It's just uh, some folks out there enjoy doing that. Don't know. But that's okay. You came to my channel. You gave me a thumbs down. Maybe it's a view. Right, there you have it, y'all. That was a challenge. Am I the perfect subscriber? Uh, again, Miss uh, Linda over at PG Nano Farm, thank you for the challenge that you took part in and just leaving it open for folks uh, that might want to take part in the challenge. Uh, I'm going to follow the same suit. If you want to take part in the challenge, heck, do your video. I'd, I'd love to see what you and y'all have to say about it. 
challenges are unique. It, it just gives you insight into what other creators think. And I think it's a good thing. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homeless Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over and give me a look. Because I'm always doing stuff. Really. With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan Reffrey showing off always gone say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You showing off, get your shine on. Take part in this challenge. Get your shine on. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.